So my first question for you will be, what areas does your district cover? The, the area it covers comes right down here in Rosedale, a large area of Bakersfield, uh, right over to Seven Oaks, the entire Kern Valley as we head east, going to be the entire Kern Valley area, and then all, all the way into Ridgecrest, China Lake, and Indian Kern. And then what area of your district do you live in? I live in the Kern River Valley. And what is your day job? My day job? I own and operate the South Lake Cycle in South Lake up there in the Kern River Valley. And how do you relate to the people of your district? How do I relate? One-on-one. Uh, -on -one. I'm involved as many, uh, many groups. I've been with Joe's House, which was a, uh, a Christian drug, a voluntary drug, um, say habilitation, but where they can meet um, President American Legion Riders, past commander. I'm on the school board there in South, South Fork. Uh, so I, I, I'm involved with a lot of events that go on in the Kern River Valley. As a result of being with the American Legion, we go to many, many events and people support us and we support them. Of course, my business, it's a wide range of people that come in there from uh, all economic levels come into that, that shop for service. And based on what you've seen and experienced, what issues do you think need to be addressed in District 4? Well, I know what is critical. Our public safety is in a crisis. We are number one in the state of California with homicide, which to me is unusual that we're number one in um, oil, number, number one in ag, and we have such great resources in the east. I think that our sheriff's department should be something that is such a shining star, other counties look upon it. However, it's been cut way back, and uh, Sheriff Youngblood has advised them it's going to be a real problem for, for him to replenish his sheriff's department. How is that done? Through economic growth, of, of course, whether it be out in the east, there's a lot of room to grow there, and to maintain the assets that we have. And I don't think we should forget about the small businesses like mine that are important to small communities. They're everywhere. And uh, not that anyone is forgotten, but we gotta make sure that uh, all of our big industries are taken care of and also the uh, working citizens of Kern County. And then what do you think voters care most about going into our 2020 local elections? Their safety and job security. There's no doubt about it. And opportunities for their children. I know this because I spoke to them, so it's not something that I'm just uh, curious about or came up with. The, uh, they're very concerned about opportunities pending for their children coming up also. And then if elected, what changes would you like to make first? Uh, first, the changes, um, it's going to be our, our public safety. I, I, want, I want the supervisors to understand how important their decisions are negatively affecting public safety. It's not enough to have a job if you're afraid to leave your family home, at home alone. So that one of the things I'd like to support is, with the homicide rate as great as it is, perhaps supervisors can make arrangements to actually be on call and not go on a ride along, but be on call and respond to a homicide and see what, how much resources are needed to properly process that through the entire system right up to the dis district attorney's office. Then of course be a strong advocate for all the other things that are coming at us, like our water, our oil, the issues of water in the, uh, in the east, and uh, supporting growth everywhere we can. And do you support the medical marijuana measures? I support the measure that restricts it and puts limitations on where it's going to be sold and how it's going to be sold. The reason I do that is because if we don't, the states of California is going to come down there and I guarantee you they're going to tell us how to do it. So we need to step up to the plate and come up with a plan that uh, is acceptable to the citizens and um, creates access to those that need it. How would you to help those affected by the Ridgecrest earthquake? The Ridgecrest earthquake, that is absolute being, uh, being over there and speaking to them. 
Uh, that is how my whole job has been. It wasn't done by a phone. My, my career and my experience of 25 years as a senior deputy sheriff, you did not get things done by phone. If you, you need to go there in person and have a direct line and see what is happening and what the needs are from the citizens and from the experts. How would you do things differently than your predecessor? How would I do things differently? There has been a real complaint of, of uh, lack of a, a accountability and accessibility. I will be very accessible. My cell phone will be uh, uh, public. It's never been abused. It was public when I was on uh, working for the Sheriff's Department. Anyone who wanted my cell phone had it. So that is one of the ways I'm going to do things differently. And uh, so I want to be accessible and accountable and an advocate for the citizens. And we really can't get that done unless you're there at, uh, speaking through them at the location where there's an incident. How would you work with other supervisors who don't share the same views as you? That's a great question. You have to present to them your experience and knowledge. So let, let's say it's, in, bring up anything. I'm going to bring in my resources to understand it. And then I'm going to transmit that information to them and, and show them why it should be something that, that should occur. Uh, obviously, no one on the board or running knows more about public safety than I do. No one knows more about the issues of uh, the working class family uh, and being victims of crime. So things like that, I need to transmit to them my knowledge and what I've re received. And then when did you first start thinking of running? Eight years ago. Uh, when I ran, I was beaten by a, a former, I came in number three and I was beaten by a former supervisor and of course by the current supervisor, uh, Mick Gleason. Other than that, I never had political aspirations except for after working uh, as a small business owner and out on uh, the streets and dealing with seeing the pain that families are going through re regarding being victims, whether it be drug use or assault at, in a different, all the different age groups where our senior citizens are victims. I thought I can take these experiences of the Marine Corps, all my time in the Sheriff's Department, and a private business owner and a school board member and bring them to the board because that is in excess of 35 years of experience. And I have a lot of things I can bring to the board. And what do you like to do when you're not working? When I'm not working? Well, I, um, <laughs> I like to enjoy, uh, I ride my motorcycle, of course. That's, that's what I have. But, um, I have a couple of Harley Davidsons. I enjoy uh, work, working on them and riding them around and uh, just driving to other areas within the community and visiting with the people. I'm very busy as a small business owner. And why do you want to be a supervisor? Uh, for the things mentioned beforehand, I, no one has more experience than I do regarding life, what is happening at, uh, at the different levels in the community, uh, I've seen, uh, obviously, the carnage that occurs in the streets, and I've seen some great things that occurs in the streets. So I'm going to bring those to the supervisor's office, going to make the place, uh, going to make the situation better, and uh, be an asset for the citizens of, of Kern County through uh, all my years of experience. Is there anything else you'd like to say? In, in closing? Yes. yes um, the Marines taught me uh, leadership, and beyond the Marines, throughout the Kern County Sheriff's Department experience of 25 years, I have a lot of experience. So when people think of me, I want them to think of leadership and experience and results. I've gotten the courtroom to open in Lake Isabella. I've helped the uh, citizens up there get uh, food deliveries for the um, uh, lower income people. I've been an effective leader with the American Legion, and I've lived here, um, moved to Kern County in 1973. I've lived in both Bakersfield, the mountains, and the desert. My experiences uh, personally are broad, uh, mainly uh, th through, through my job, 
and through my living throughout the county.